Coinbase is urging the SEC to approve the NYSE ARCA's application to convert the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into an exchange-traded fund. May this increase the likelihood of that happening for Grayscale? Honestly, uh, things are probably going to still be down to whatever timeline the SEC has. I mean, the central issue here is, will the SEC allow an exchange-traded fund based on Bitcoin's spot market to exist in the U.S.? And all signs point to, you know, no, at least for the moment. And while Grayscale has, you know, I think a fairly strong argument in saying that GBTC has existed for quite a while now and, you know, could answer some of the questions the SEC has, it still seems unlikely that the SEC was going to be moved by this argument until, you know, whatever uh, specific criteria they're looking for in terms of you know, market surveillance and, uh, you know, manipulation resistance are, are answered. It's interesting that this is happening because there is a lot of pressure increasing from lawmakers as well, writing to the SEC, asking why hasn't a spot Bitcoin ETF been approved in the United States, whereas it has been approved in Canada and other countries around the world. Have Has the SEC or any regulators answered the uh, concerns of lawmakers on why that is? I haven't seen anything from the SEC to actual lawmakers about this specific issue. You know, every time a, a spot market ETF uh, application is rejected, it's the SEC is kind of pointed back to not just, you know, new arguments about the same issues we've been talking about, but they've even referenced some of the older letters from, you know, 2018 and 2019, saying that they believe this market is big, it's, you know, not really safe, it's, you know, there's not a lot of surveillance uh, from, you know, market makers of a significant size. So I imagine if the SEC does respond to lawmakers, they'll probably reiterate these same concerns. Yeah, you, you, you know, Nick, you brought up the 2018-2017 uh, responses the SEC had uh, at the time to, uh, I think it was uh, Van Eck, when, they, when Van Eck uh, proposed their, uh, their ETF. And, and the thing that they keep mentioning was, was market manipulation. And do you think that, has Gary Gensler given even a clue, any hint as to whether he can come up with a solution that would allow for a Bitcoin ETF which maybe the way the CME does it um, with their futures exchange in terms of like pricing mechanism, is, it, is there like a, a sort of an elegant solution there that, that he can apply uh, in the spot markets? So SEC Chair Gensler hasn't said anything, but, you know, and when he has mentioned Bitcoin ETFs, he's always come back to kind of the consumer protection aspect of it. And that's why we have a futures ETF right now, or several futures ETFs right now, is he said that the law governing futures ETFs versus spot market ETFs have stronger investor protection rules enshrined. And so, you know, I imagine, I mean, this is all kind of coming back to the same issue, right? There's concern that Bitcoin spot market is not safe for, you know, XYZ users. and I imagine, you know, this is going to be something that we'll be hearing more about, even if Gensler doesn't specifically say, you know, we want to fix these market manipulation issues by doing this. It's going to come down to, well, we think consumers will be safer because, you know, whatever protections exist are going to be you know, defined here. 